No, another thing that we have, we in the city have uh, to hang our hat on is uh, being terrible drivers. Oh. Terrible drivers, because we made a list, guys. <laughs> we made a list. Yesterday, we had a good list. We were on a great list. In fact, it was the list of safest cities in America. Baldwin, Missouri. Baldwin, Missouri. Congratulations in Edwardsville. That's right. Out of the top 100 safest cities, I think Baldwin was in the uh, uh, was in the 50s and Edwardsville was in the 30s. Congratulations. Good for you. St. Louis, though, not a good showing in the list of cities that have the worst drivers. Oh, no. So if you ask somebody what state has the worst drivers, the answer would be easy. It's the state they're driving in right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right. If you ask anybody, yeah, you could be in Colorado, and you would ask somebody in Colorado, "What is the state with the worst drivers?" They go Colorado, but there, but there is a more scientific answer. So, Consumer Affairs analyzed data from the Department of Transportation and the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, and then they ranked cities based on four factors: crash fatalities per one hundred thousand people, the number of fatalities due to bad driving. DUIs and speeding. Okay. Okay, to even to even break that down, like, what is bad driving? Like, what is bad driving to them? Um, bad driving is aggressive driving. It's careless driving. It's driving the wrong way on a, on a one-way traffic road. It's failure to, le to yield the right of way. It's, it's following it properly. It's making improper or erratic lane changes. Man, I'll tell you what, too. It's operator inexperience. It's passing where prohibited. As somebody that's driven in multiple countries and every single place in this uh, in this country, including Alaska and Hawaii, um, there are different styles, and that style those styles don't make for better or worse uh, drivers necessarily. But those styles are also uh, equally styled differently with law enforcement. So, like in Texas, everybody just—it feels like everybody's just faster, but it's just kind of general. In New York, you know that the people don't use mirrors. It's much more like Asia, where you're just going and you're paying attention in front of you, mm. so you don't hit somebody, and you're kind of cutting people off. But that's—you do that kind of stuff here, you're going to get pulled over. You do that stuff there, you're not, because but, that's the style. Yeah, that works. in New York City, if you see somebody driving properly, they'll pull you over thinking something's wrong. Right. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So this guy must be drunk. He's driving the right way. Right. He's using his blinker. <laughs> Lock him up. Yeah, he's using right. his blinker. He's yeah, making proper lane changes. So if the drawing offense, uh, uh, if the driving offenses and the law enforcement has to do with this kind of thing, you gotta you gotta remember to take into account the different styles because it's a very very different. It's a huge country, and it, and everybody kind of has their own vibe. Here, we're not watching out for anybody else. We're watching out for the construction that's inevitably around the corner. So. Okay, so again, they ranked the cities based on crash fatalities per 100,000 people, the number of fatalities due to bad driving, DUIs, and speeding. So, in the end, the state with the worst drivers. Congratulations. Give, give, give us some hints. I will say this particular state has four cities in the top, in the top 20. It's not Missouri. Mm -hmm. But it is a neighbor. Tennessee. Congratulations, Tennessee. Wow. You, as a state, suck at driving. <laughs> You're terrible. Is it the red roads? I think that, think that has to do with it? So, so, as far as the four cities in the top 20 in Tennessee, Memphis, Knoxville, Clarksville, and Chattanooga. Mm, Clarksville, really? Wow. Clarksville, Knoxville, Memphis, Chattanooga. I've driven through Tennessee. I mean, it wasn't anything to write home about. It wasn't bad or good. It was just normal. Did you like the red highways? For some reason, it makes me feel like it's smoother and I'm going faster. Hmm. Is that weird? I didn't even really Oh, the concrete notice. changes. Or in Tennessee? Does it really? Never yeah. been. Yeah, I'll do the, the highway. The color of the highway changes. As soon as I you cross the bar. I mean, you can, you go into uh, Alabama or, or, uh, or Missouri or anything, and if it's not a bridge and there's just a land, uh, right. divider land, it'll, it'll, it'll say, like, welcome to Tennessee, and all of a sudden, whoop, Oh, yeah. Red Highway. All right. It's, I mean, completely different. Okay, so the 10 cities with the worst drivers. Okay, we are in the top 10. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice. To us. Congratulations. Wow. Uh, number 10, Rockford, Illinois. Ooh. Again, these are the cities with the worst drivers, statistically speaking. Hmm. Hesperia, California. I don't know where that is. 
Me neither. Victorville, California. Detroit. Cleveland. And now we're in the top five, guys. Now we are in the top five. Still haven't said St. Louis yet. Right. Oh, no. Congratulations. Oh. St. Louis, number five. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Fifth worst city for driving. Oh, man. Wild. You know, I, just, I shouldn't say it. I said that wrong. The city, the fifth, the city with the fifth worst drivers. Hey, have you have you noticed, I was talking about different styles throughout the country. Have you noticed different styles of driving per highway in this? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. 70, 40, 44. Totally different driving yep. styles. All three of them. Mad Max Fury Road is Highway 70. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, Well, we're, we're and it's, there's a something. certain stretch. Yes. From downtown to maybe out uh, into St. Charles County. Oh, not even that oh, far. I'm not talking about you that. Get to, to, you get to that, like, uh, ABB building or whatever. <laughs> well, you, do you know what yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, that's out by in Earth City, right? Right, but if you if you go from the dome to... to no, is, no, is, no, 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 not Earth City. A, ABB is like a Lucas and Hunt, like oh, okay. probably something right around yeah, right yeah. Around. You go from the dome to there. And it's like everybody's running from something. Yep. Yeah, it's you're running away from downtown. <laughs> downtown, <laughs> <He's speeding. laughs> downtown to Lambert and even like trying to get back to 270. Like I would say like that stretch of 70 from downtown to 270. From the arch to, to, to from the arch to 270. Is Mad Max Fury Road. There's construction. There's, there's drive-bys. There's road rage. There's people not knowing what the hell's going on. People are swerving. Um, and you just got to accommodate. You have to just become crazy too. Like that's where my craziest driving comes out is on highway. Yeah, 70. and it's it's like and it's and it's equal opportunity crazy too because yep. you'll you'll see like junker cars doing crazy things and you'll see like one hundred and fifty thousand dollar <laughs> cars doing crazy things. It's just it's it's, it's crazy. Right. People. What's the stretch of road that nobody will let you move like merge or move over? That's forty four for me. I I hate highway forty four. Hate it. Would love to never have to take it ever again, have to take it all the time. Uh, 44 to me is a death trap and um, like the whole thing, like whether you're downtown by Jefferson uh, or you're out here by, uh, you know, the entire road, it's a death trap. That for me is 40 east between 270 and 170. Really? Certain hours. 44 for me is like everybody's on autopilot. So as long as you're careful, everybody's going reasonable speeds, but it feels like if you surprise them with something, they're going to go right through you because they're yeah. not paying attention. So it's like, like 44 yeah, it's autopilot. Is. Like, <laughs> everybody just be cool. Just yeah. be cool. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> 55 is people that don't want to be there at all. Nobody wants to be on 55 ever. <laughs> yeah. If you could, I, I don't know when the last time I took Highway 55, to be completely honest, because I never want to take it. Oh, I'm on 55 <laughs> all the time, and it's, and I swear no one wants to be there, so they're just kind of like, they're just, a, they're not aggro, but they're just agitated enough right. where if you upset them, you're worried. Right. Yeah, yeah. So like, don't upset anybody. It, it, it's it's one of those, like, just don't look at anybody, just, and everybody, yeah, everything's going to be cool. the south you get. Everything's right. going to be cool. Just yeah. The farther south anybody. you get, you go, ah, uh, you know, Road rage could go a certain way. Yeah, but once you get out of, uh, once you get past 270 when you're on 55, then it can be a speedway. It can, yeah, you exactly. gotta know it's your open. lane. You gotta know your lane, and you can go, and you can go as fast as you need to. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's like it's like the fast lane is for people that are not stopping until they hit the coast. Mm. Right. And and they're upset that they're 14 hours. From well, to put yeah. a capper on this though, um, so the worst the worst drivers are in Memphis, then Baton Rouge. And Albuquerque and Macon, Georgia, and then St. Louis. Now they did say St. Louis had a lower rate of fatal crashes caused by bad driving than the four cities above them, uh, but it's still well above the national average. Over one third of fatal crashes in St. Louis are linked to speeding, more than Memphis, more than Baton Rouge, more than Macon, and almost as much as Albuquerque. The percentage of fatal crashes involving drivers with a positive blood alcohol content also stands out. At 32.39%, that figure is the highest among the cities in the top five on the list. Other cities in Missouri that also rank in the top 64 drivers, Independence at 15th, Kansas City 34th, and Springfield at 58th. Oh, man. We, 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 if we're going to talk about highways, we have to uh, honorable mention 170 because 170 is not that long. So, And that's two different personalities. 170 has split personality. You go from 40 to about Vanita Park, which is what, like a... Uh, uh, well, maybe it's just past page, and and people, it's it's almost like, what are you doing? 
because people are going kind of slow and, and it's weirdly slow and they don't know exactly where they're getting off or something. You're like, you're 170. Clearly, yeah. you know where you're at. So there's like this weird slow motion kind of thing happening between 40 and, uh, and, and Vanita Park. Once you pass Page and go up north, <laughs> we're running from something again. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's crazy speeds. And crazy. then when you get to the end... If you're coming south in the Brentwood area and yeah. it kind of splits off. Oh, I was go, thinking about going north. You go yeah. west or you go you you're know, like, east. What kind of day do you want to have is that split? And then you got the people that don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> right. And, and that's the, what I mean. And the lanes are all weird. You're on 170. I'm like, on the flyover right. going down west, west and I don't know where I'm going. Where was I the other day? What and is it got that? real confusing where I thought, oh my God, people have to be dying left and right on this thing because I seriously like, and I was paying attention. I was doing all the right things, at least I thought. And I thought to myself, this because it was one of those god where was i because i know you've been there it was like one where you got to kind of go to the right and people are kind of go oh i know where it was freaking gravway do you know what i'm talking about gravway and jefferson where? you get so 44 to jefferson you go south on jefferson and then you're going to hit gravway and that is in a monstrosity oh, yeah, it gets weird. of an intersection because you can't turn left and there's all these, stra these strange angles it's and you're like oh south god city. which light is mine Yes, you don't know which, you can't turn left, you have to go right to go left, it's in a real rundown area, so you're already like on high alert, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of by Cherokee Street, like uh, like down there, like if you're on Jefferson going south. Yeah, and it's weird because there's like, there's like enough of it that's gridded and enough of it that's not, that it blends in and you start to lose yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have a tough time in New Jersey. Oh, I know I would. Because in New Jersey, if you're on a major roadway in, in New Jersey, yeah, you can't turn left anywhere. There's there, there's Just what they exit. call there's what they call jug handles, where what? you have to turn right, <laughs> where you have to go like on a like right to then go left. Okay, no, I don't want to be jug handled in Jersey. Nah. Oh, <laughs> you're getting. And jug there's handled. our podcast title. There it is. You're getting Thank jug you. handled. <laughs>